As some residents are rescued from raging floodwaters, others are not so lucky. The death toll from Super Typhoon Rai continues to mount, and in the worst hit zones, locals plead for basic necessities from authorities. I am calling the national government, the local government, to please make all efforts faster as soon as possible. We are lacking out of foods, we lack water, and the gasoline prices getting high. Every, uh, some of the markets are hoarding waters. In the middle of the destruction, this man holds a cardboard sign reading, I'm hungry, have mercy. Here, winds reached 195 kilometers per hour, tearing off roofs, ripping up trees and downing power lines. President Rodrigo Duterte has promised 35 million euros in aid, but some residents expressed frustration at the response. They should at least have given us one fire truck for water, but there is none. No one showed up. I don't know where the politicians and the election candidates are. Let's see when election time comes. Rai, which made landfall as a Category 5 typhoon on Thursday, sparked comparisons to Super Typhoon Haiyan in 2013, which killed more than 6,000 people in the Philippines. Although the death toll this time is not expected to get anywhere close to that number. The Philippines is hit by 20 typhoons or tropical storms each year and is ranked as one of the most vulnerable countries to climate change.